Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over what I learned last week. In this series, we talk about my journey to learn data science in six months. And you guys get to follow around each week to see if, you know, I'm able to do it, if I'm not able to do it, and what are the things I learned along the way. Now, in this week, I did chapter five and chapter six of the Think Stats book. I also worked a little bit on Khan Academy stats, the section on probability and the high school statistics section. So that was kind of the rundown of the video. If that's all you needed to know, you're free to leave. But if you want to know more, a little bit more in depth of what I learned in each chapter, stick around and I'll talk about it right now. So in chapter five of the Think Stats book was all about um, modeling and specifically analytic modeling and what we found out was that you know why do we model right so in data science we model because we have large data sets and it's possible to find models that kind of fit the data set and allow us to remove the noise from the data set and make it much easier to do calculations on along like far farther along the road now we haven't learned about doing those calculations yet we're just learning about modeling and in specifically in chapter five we learned about the gaussian distribution which is basically just the normal distribution we all know and love the bell curve and we learned about how to see if data fits that distribution and what else we can do like for example using the log scale to see if maybe it fits even better. So that was chapter five on modeling. Again, we use modeling to kind of help us get rid of the noise and the outliers, but also for in the future, when we work on calculations on the data set, if we have a good model, we can use that model and that can save us a lot of time and calculations in the future. So that was chapter five. Now, moving on to chapter six, it was all about probability density functions and this is a long chain of um, acronyms that we've been learning. Uh, PMFs, which is probability mass functions. Then we have CDFs, which is cumulative density functions. And now we have PM, F, PDFs, which is probability density functions. And they're basically just different functions that you can put your data through to find out um, and get a good visualization of it and then you can use that to see if you can find a model for it, an analytical model so that was what that was chapter was about chapter six and um in the Khan academy stats we did probabilities and you know as you can expect it was about you know flipping coins and picking marbles out of a bag but the interesting thing about it was that it really brought back some of the very crucial knowledge needed for adding and multiplying probabilities of multiple events. That is something that is going to happen a lot in large data sets. And I need to remember how to be able to add and multiply different probabilities and make sure I'm not making a huge mistake while doing it. So I really loved going back to the basics with Khan Academy stats. Okay, so that's kind of what I did in my uh, curriculum. Now, I went a little bit off the rails this time and learned a little bit of how to use Python to do calculations on mean, how to do calculations on standard deviation variance, uh, median, and mode, and then the five uh, five number uh, summary. Now, I was very surprised by uh, how difficult median and the five um, number summary was to actually code in Python. I mean, you figure it out, but you know, mean and standard deviation are all super quick. But for median, you have to first figure out to see if it's a even or odd so that you can find the middle. And then when you find the middle, you got to make sure that you're counting for Python starting at a, a zero index. So 
it was actually tricky in the beginning, but eventually, you know, it, it wasn't too difficult. Um, so I was able to code those functions, so now I have them to use, and I know how to code them, which is great. And so anytime now that I'm doing any work on a, a you know a data set, I don't really have to use my calculator and you know just my math skills writing them down. I can just use Python as a full out calculator and calculate it all using the functions, which is great and super exciting. It means that we're getting somewhere. And I'm I'm really surprised that I haven't learned this earlier, but um that's why I went out and learned it. I, I felt like it was something that I was missing. And so I went out and learned it and super glad I did. So now I can use it for any median mode, mean or, you know, bot plot, uh, box plot graph, because I can find the five digit uh, summary. So five number summary, sorry. Um, so yep, that was the video. Um, that's all I learned this week. For next week, plan on doing two more chapters, another section in Cat Academy, and who knows, maybe I read an article or two on data science. So that's all for today. So peace.